how to read the bill. At the federal level, there is a lot of websites that keep bills on record where you can read them. Personally, I like pop blocks. It gives you a place to read the bill and you can email your rep straight from their website. At the state level, your, your state office should have a website set up that you can find through Google. There are two kinds of bills. There is the bill that enacts a new law, which is pretty rare at this point, as old as our country is. But it is pretty easy to read. What it says is, it just lays out exactly what the law says. On the other hand, a bill that changes an old law is a little bit harder to understand. At the federal level, it's usually pretty simple that it says something like, to strike the word and to add the word. Now let's see, we, we have a fictitious law about frogs not croaking after midnight. On, at the federal level, a bill to change that law might say something like, to strike the word midnight and add the word 10 p.m. It's rather easy to understand what it's trying to do, but you have to have the old law opened up to where you can read it too to understand what, it, what the end result will be. Here in Georgia, you usually see a different setup. Whenever a law is amended, they have the old law and the new law mixed into, into the bill together. Here, here is the same frog croaking law being amended the way it's usually done in the state of Georgia. A frog cannot croak after midnight, which has a line through it. 10 p.m. without a permit. And that confuses some people, but what it's really saying is to mark out midnight in the original law and add 10 p.m. So if you want to know what the original law said, you read the marked out word with the regular words and leave out the underlines. That would read, frogs cannot croak after midnight without a permit. If you want to know what the new law will say, you read the underlines and the regular words, but not the marked out. So the new law would be frogs cannot croak after 10 p.m. without a permit. So you can see that the per word permit is in the old law and the new law has not changed. The only thing that has changed is midnight changed to 10 p.m. In other states, they have other ways of marking up a new bill where they use different markings around the words that are they're taking out or putting in. So you'll have to read the, the laws in your area and see what, what they're doing and how to understand it. Something else to remember before you contact your reps is that the, the law that you have read is not necessarily going to be the law that is passed. Amendments will be done to the bill throughout the whole process. So you need to understand when you call and talk to your rep that, that you can tell them the stuff that you don't like and they may be able to amend it. Or, and you can tell them the stuff that you do like and they may add more of that. So you, it isn't just, yes, I like the bill, or no, I don't like the bill. 